Hello, so my friend got me a houseplant in this rather nice pot. And yes, I do have friends. Uh, the plant's outside at the moment, chilling with the badger. I don't have a shelf to put it on, so I want to make a stand for it. And I've got some sapili. This stuff's a bit rough, so first job is to get a couple of sides planed on the planer. Now I've got two sides square to each other and get these bits ripped out. I'm going to need six bits of wood in total, uh, four legs and a cross bit for the pot to go on. Um, I'm going to rip these all down to two centimetres on the table saw. I've got the bits ripped down, now I need to work out what final length they need to be. So the first bits that are going to be the support for the actual pot are easy because I just need to make them slightly longer than the pot. So I can get those cut down on the table saw. Then it's for the legs, so it's really how high do I want this off the ground Work that out and get them cut on the table saw. The two little bits that the pot's gonna sit on need to go together as a cross and they're gonna join with a half lap joint. So I need to get that marked out Now to cut it, I'm going to do it on the table saw using my flat tooth blade. So I'm going to get that installed and then nibble away at this cut. I've got the half lap joint cut and it all fits together quite nicely. Now I need to join it onto the legs and I'm going to do it using some little six mil dowels. I've got this dowling jig and I'm going to use that to drill the holes into these crossover bits. With the holes drilled into the cross bit, now I've got to get them put into the legs. This little uh, jig for doing dowels does come in handy. It should be on the tools I use page, link under this video. Uh, along with a lot of the other things I use. So if you want to check that out, it does help me out a bit. Now to get this all put together. So I'm going to get some PVA wood glue put into the holes and then get the dowels tapped down into place. Then I'm going to get it pushed into the leg
thing I've got to remember while doing this is to keep a notch facing up on one leg and a notch facing down on the other, otherwise these things will not go together. Right, I'm just going to grab a couple of clamps to pull these all tight. Glue's gone off on these now. So, let's see if this thing is going to work. Yeah, all done. Now I could leave it there, but that was never my intention. And that's why I made the legs so wide, so that I can take some material off. And I think I'm going to start by adding a round over to them. I'm going to use my little Bosch 12 volt router. So I've used the router to put a round over on both edges of all the legs, but it's left a little ridge in the middle. And I want the round over to be a bit more pronounced. So I'm gonna do some fine fettling of it with the block plane. Now I'm happy with the curves on one side of this, but the legs are still quite chunky. So what I'm gonna do is put some tapers on them. I'm just gonna get it marked out with a pencil where I want them to go, and then over to the bandsaw to cut them out. I think I'm really happy with the form of this now. So the next job, give it all a sand down. To finish this, I'm going to apply some mineral oil and I'm going to use this because I've got a little bit to use up and I've said that on three projects now, but this, I promise, is going to be the one that uses it up. So Peely is very easy to work with, but one of the things I love the most about it is the colour change as soon as you get some oil on it.
I left this overnight to dry. So now, the last thing is just to take it in the house, get the plant put in and get it in its new home. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.